focus please. Whoa. Focus my friend. Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be talking to you about how you can make super cheap photo boards. Now what I mean by photo boards are a background for your uh, products. So if you sell on Etsy or you have an online store, this is a really, really cheap way to get really gorgeous photos. If you haven't seen my last videos about how to shoot photos on your iPhone or your DSLR and how to edit them, head over to my channel and watch them before you watch this. And this is some good cheap tips on how you can get pretty backgrounds for super cheap. I mean super cheap. This cost me maybe five pound. I don't know what that is in anything else, but it's not a lot. And basically all you'll need is, depending on how big you want these photo boards, uh, simple A3 mount boards or foam boards. You can normally get these from any craft or supply store. I have went with an A3 colour mount board, which is just a thin, well it's not that thin, a thick piece of card which is normally for mounting photos on. And I am going to be filling both sides so I can just switch them around and use each side for whatever image I want. Just using these boards, I then went, I went to my local um, DIY store and got loads of paper samples, wallpaper samples. Now these are free usually, you just tear off a bit. So I went and I picked out loads of pretty wallpapers uh, which I thought would make really cute backdrops for product photos. I really like this one, it's pretty cool. Imagine that on your wall, that's pretty cool. But I wanted to get quite neutral colours because I, if you don't know, I run two businesses, Baby Blue, which is targeted towards expectant mums and new mums, and I have Katnip, which is my baby and where all my illustrations are, and my personal work. So I got mixtures of background for both these stars, uh, keeping them both in mind. And all I've got is those mount boards, wallpaper samples and wallpaper paste. Wallpaper paste costs about £2, super 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 cheap and it's just basically like glue. Now you can probably use things like Mod Podge and PVA but these are quite expensive um, and you get a lot out of this and you've probably got it lying around or someone's probably got some of this lying around somewhere so I'm going to try with this wallpaper paste and we'll see how it gets on and basically all I'm planning to do is stick on the wallpaper to the board et voila you've got a pretty four board Ooh. so easy so simple and it just makes your photos pop and it gives them a nice backdrop so let's get to the making blah, 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 blah. Okay guys, so I have just went ahead and mixed my wallpaper paste. I have done that a little bit too thick, but it doesn't matter. It'll still work the same, I think. And I just used the Solvite Extra Strong brand. So, the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to get my piece of mount board that I bought and I'm going to get this wallpaper that I like and I'm gonna just feel where I want it to be so I kind of want this area so what I'm gonna do is rather than actually pasting the wallpaper I'm going to paste the mount board instead when it dries hopefully it will dry flat I could maybe put some books on top so it does dry flat. So I'm just going to go ahead and place this over where I want it to go. And smooth that out. Like so. So that'll do. Then I'm just going to turn it over. What you do want to do normally is wait a little bit because as you can see this hasn't stuck down yet because it's still really wet but I just want to show you. 
So once it's fully dried, which this isn't, then I'll just go ahead and trim off the excess or excess, should I say. English, Catherine, English. It doesn't have to be neat around the edges because this will do just fine for what I need it for. Get rid of all that and that and then voila you have a photo board to take backgrounds on. Now what I would probably do is flatten it with a book and leave it to dry and then you will have a finished photo board to take photos on. You can do it as neat or as tidy as you want but this was just for example's sake so I could show you guys how I do it. Um, obviously you would wait a little bit until the glue had set onto the board and then flatten the board down, leave it a dry, cut off the excess, excess, cut off the excess and then you are done. And then you have a pretty background for your product photos and you can play about with it. The next one I'm going to do is marble. I'm just going to go ahead and do it and turn this on fast forward so you can see me do it. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you make beautiful photos and I hope your photos are glorious. Tag me in your photos if you use this method. I would love to see your photo boards and what you do with them over on my Instagram at catnip illustration. Go and follow me over there. Tag me in the photos that you use the photo boards with because I'd love to see what you come up with and if you have any tips on how to um, improve product photography or improve your Etsy store, let me know. Or if you have any questions, let me know and I will try my best to answer them. Another tip that I forgot to mention is you can also use prints. So if you have a printer at home and you've seen a lovely texture or something online, then print it out, mount it to the photo board and voila, you have got a new photo board to take pretty pictures on. You can also buy just pieces of paper and pieces of card, which is what I use. I use pastel card and pastel paper. So I have a packet of pink and lilac paper um, and I use that for my backgrounds too. So get experimental, have fun and yeah, I'll see you in the next video guys. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you're the best. Okay, I love you. Bye. Love you, bye.